Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Neil. If you've not been here before, please do not forget to subscribe before you leave. Today, we are going to review the BASN AS1 in-ear monitors. Okay, I've had these now for about two to three weeks. I've used them quite a lot in a lot of different situations. And I want to let you guys know exactly what I think and feel about this product. Also, guys, we're going to talk a bit more about the Hit and Mix software that I've also reviewed. We're going to talk about RipX, Deep Create and Deep Remix. We're going to go over the software and explain how and what it is capable of doing. Okay guys, so first of all, I just wanna talk about BASN as one in-ear monitors. That's a bit of a mouthful. I'm gonna talk about these things because I got sent these from BASN Ooh, I think it was about two, maybe three weeks ago now. I unboxed them on the channel and I said I was going to use them for two, three weeks, then come back on and give you my thoughts on them. I've not used them live because I'm not a live musician anymore. I don't play a gig or anything like that, which is what these are really intended for. But I have used them with products like the Amperio Mini, the Blackstar Amp 2, which is a similar product that can power an amp as well. I've also used them into an interface, you know, for mixing, things like that. And I've also used them just to play regular music on from my phone. Now, what I will say is that they are pretty good value for money. What you'll get in the box is really, really good value, I believe, for one, I think it's $149 that you can pick them up for in the US. But yeah, I really like them, actually. They fit really snugly. The actual buds that come on them when you first get them out of the box, um, fit really well for my ears and blocked all the sound out which is exactly what you want with in ear monitors or any type of headphone in my opinion there are plenty of spare buds that come with them but i found that the ones that actually came on them were perfect for me they're very tight very clear sounding very articulate sounding um the only thing i will say is that when you are down in a tone on something like the Ampero mini um you tend to dial in a bit of extra low end and when you listen to that patch or that tone through anything else it seems to be overly um overly heavy in the low end now that's what you kind of want with in-ear monitors you want them to have high end top end frequency not harsh you know but enough to cut through a mix because sometimes when you're playing on stage you can feel a vibration through the stage still even though you've got things uh, blocking out the actual sounds you can feel it the boom in low end coming up through your body you can actually feel it and sometimes that can mix you up a bit you know and throw you off so the fact that these will always cut through and they've got quite a lot of high mids going on and very clear high mids is actually exactly what you would want from in-ear monitors so yeah for mixing things like that probably not very suitable because you're going to dial in too much low end um they're still very punchy, even though they're not heavy in the low end. They're still very punchy. And like I said, they're very clear and very articulate. I really like them. They're good value for me. The carrying case is excellent quality and all the little bits of extra uh, cables and buds that you get with them as well is really good quality. Now, I was pretty impressed. I wasn't expecting to get all that for the price point, which is $149 US. Okay, guys, so moving on now, we're going to talk about the hit and mix um, software rip x now i've already done a little brief demo and a talk through of rip x and showing exactly what it does basically what you can do is you can get a track that is a stereo file uh, you can strip um or rip that into rip x and then you can turn down certain instruments and isolate tracks and things like that so if you want to jam along to a song you can do that whether it's one of your own or whether it's a cover obviously if it's another band's material you know you're not advised to share it online because you will get copyright hits going against you and uh, things like that and it's illegal as well obviously but yeah so basically that's what the ripex software does you can turn instruments down turn them up you can solo them you can mute them um if you get deep create and also deep remix what i found was that when i was trying to find exactly what though that software provided extra um, it was very overwhelming. The information was overwhelming and I was quite confused. So in this video, I'm going to break that down in a moment and tell you exactly what you get. What you have to think of is that downloading RipEx on the 21 day uh, free trial, you will get <clears throat> probably Deep Create and Deep Remix as well. But what you need to know is which software does which, which add-on does which. You have to think of it as kind of buying a plugin if you're a guitarist and then buying um expansion packs you know have to think of it that way so that's kind of how it works now like i've said the cool thing about ripex is and uh, deep remix and deep create is that 
you can add effects to your guitars, you can change the EQ, you can slow down the track, you can speed the track up, you can turn down the guitar if you're learning the guitar part, still leave it in the background but still leave it quiet so you can actually hear what you're playing along to if you want to perfect a certain part. Um, the most important thing for me though is that if you are trying to learn a song and you don't have the music for it or the tablature, then on the piano roll, as you hover your mouse over each note, it actually tells you on the piano roll what the note is that is being played or the chord, which I think is absolutely excellent and that is a great way of working out your favourite covers, your favourite tracks, learning to play them and doing it accurately. You can also record in this software as well if you get the full add-ons and I think that's really cool as well. It's almost like a door, you know, it's like a full door going on there. And like I said, you can clean things up, you can delete things, you can change the pitch of things. And yeah, I'm really impressed with it. I'm really impressed with what it does. I've not used it to its full capabilities yet, but I am hoping to in the future. Now, as I said, because when you go on their website, you kind of get overwhelmed with Deep Create, Deep Remix and Repex, and it can be quite confusing on which add-on does exactly what. And I found a screen that kind of explains it for you. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to actually read through that screen to you guys and tell you exactly what you'll get when you buy the add-ons for Repex. So when you buy Deep Create or you buy Deep Remix, I will tell you exactly what you get and the features that you get and the features that are involved when you get those add-ons as well. Okay guys, so this can be pretty confusing even though I'm um, reading it out to you guys and I'm giving you all the information you need. Deep Remix includes six plus stem audio ripping mute layers, i.e. instruments to create backing tracks. So yeah, you can basically with Deep Remix, you can mute certain tracks uh, and solo other tracks. Um, solo layers to create acapellas and analyze performances. Export individual layers to a variety of audio file formats. Export MIDI files. Export stems for DJ controllers. Change tempo, change musical scale. Individual notes displayed, color coded by layer. So basically every track is uh, every layer on every track is color coded differently so you can see exactly what is playing where mine when i uploaded when i ripped sorry my track into there it did it automatically for me which was great and um, you can change the pitch of notes shown on the piano roll the keyboard guitar chord symbols and diagrams display pitch time and level panels providing many effects and musical tools full audio editor with copy paste duplicate and delete Group notes for easy editing of sections, loop playback for sections of audio, create new rips and mixes, adding parts of layers from other rips, adjust level stereo position and EQ of individual layers, add background images to set the mood. So yeah, that is what Deep Remix gives you when you download it. Um, there are add-ons also, um, Deep Create and Deep Audio. We'll go through Deep Create now. MIDI recording using included hand-picked sounds, sounds ripped from songs, VST3 instruments, uh, MPE MIDI supported for recording detailed performances from touch sensitive controllers, audio recording using plugged in microphone or other input, record as any instrument sound, instrument blending and replacement using any instrument sound, audio shop light tools included. Um, deep audio, audio shop tools for professional cleanup of any artifacts. Harmonic editor, unpitched audio tool, clone tool, uh, pattern tool, blend tool, repair panel, filter background, noise, limit foreground levels, reduce tones and hum, purify audio, adjust overtone levels, recover filtered out fundamental harmonics so yeah so yeah you've got a lot going on there and like i said it can be quite overwhelming so basically if you just want the basics the deep remix and ripex so you can rip tracks there and you can uh, solo and mute tracks and you're using it in that way and you only need the the deep remix but if you're wanting to expand even further there are some really interesting mixing um, and mastering features, I guess, in Deep Create and Deep Audio. Also, there are some effects um, included in those as well. So yeah, it's a very, very extensive piece of software. And I think that is something that I would like to delve into and use more often. Whether I have time to learn to use this software, you know, um, that's another matter. But 
I think it's pretty simple once you actually get into it. I ripped those tracks and soloed and mute them. If you know how to work a DAW basically, you know, used to using Logic or something like that, then you will find your way around this pretty quickly and pretty easily, I believe. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to fill you guys in on how the Rip X, uh, the Deep Remix, the Deep Create and the Deep Audio all kind of work together and what they provide. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure and I will speak to you all very soon. Yeah.